we, this time we're going to do the accrual process, entering a bill, which is similar to just a bill here, but I'm just going to go to the next link in the chain, creating the bill from the purchase order. So we receive inventory with a bill. So I'm going to say OK. And then we'll type in Fender, which is the new vendor. And it's, it's paraphrasing. I'm paraphrasing. It's saying, hey, we got an open purchase order. So do you want to connect that? And I'm going to say, yes, please. That's the one. Let's check it off and say, OK. I'm going to close up the detail on the right hand side. And so now it's populating based on the purchase order. Let's change the date. I'm going to go for a lot of a lot of twos. 02 22 23. 02 22 23. And amount is pulled in for us. The due the bill date is uh, the 3 4 uh, 23 because we said it was let's say the terms here. Let's say our 30 days. So now we've got it. Uh, moving out to 324. So this is the date that we input the bill. This is then when it's going to be due. We set the terms to be the 30 days. We could then add a memo if we so choose. Notice at the bottom of the bill, we've got expenses if it was going to simply an account category, but we are using items because we not only wanted to go to the account of, of inventory, but also hit the sub ledger uh, properly tracking the inventory in a perpetual inventory system. This information is pulling in from the purchase order. As we have the box of guitars, we would want to count them and make sure that they tie out to you know the 20 guitars that we should have. We also assigned it to the customer, which is uh, new music stuff because the customer asked us for guitars from this particular vendor, which we didn't have set up yet. It was a new vendor, Fender. So we set them up and requested these guitars specifically for the customer, which isn't necessary to enter the bill or the purchase order, but will be useful because now this is billable, meaning when we create an invoice or sales receipt, we should be able to pull this information into it and, and invoice our client. So what's this going to do? It's going to increase accounts payable because it's a bill. It's going to increase inventory because that's what this item is assigned to do. And it's going to increase the sub ledger of inventory for the 20 units of Squire guitars. Let's save it. Let's close it. Let's check it out. You've changed the terms. I'm going to say, yeah, I know that.